In the past, scientists believed everything was clear and predictable. They believed time and space were continuous and that all motion in the world could be predicted using equations. But in the extremely small world of atoms, a different set of physical laws applied. There, principles like uncertainty beyond human intuition reigned along with entirely new ways of calculation. That became the starting point for quantum computers. Once the heart of the tobacco industry, the city of Durham has transformed into a hub of cutting-edge scientific research. Here lies the Duke Quantum Center, a global leader in quantum computing technology. It's also the research space of Professor Jung Sang Kim, who oversees Duke's science and technology strategy and is pioneering a new paradigm in quantum computing. I came to Duke and jumped into quantum computing about 20 years ago in 2004 with a vision that at some point, if we can make good progress in research, we should be able to build commercially viable computers out of this technology. So in the sense, always had that as a view. Um, and definitely we started commercialization effort uh, way before most other companies jumped into this. So in that sense, it was um, where we had the pioneering effort. Um, but the downside was it wasn't easy to get things moving because you know, there generally wasn't a lot of interest or belief that this uh, technology could be viable. But Professor Kim saw the feasibility and commercial potential of quantum computers earlier than anyone and began building the core technologies one by one. As a result, in 2015, before even IBM had released a commercial quantum computer, he co-founded the quantum computing company IonQ. Six years later, IonQ has become the world's first pure play quantum computing company to go public on the New York Stock Exchange, drawing global attention.